Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Uh, if you've watched my videos at all, you know that I am all about uh, talking about uh, defense, uh, security, weapons. I mean, every other week it's like, oh, here's an AR-15, oh, an SR-20, oh, whatever the hell this thing is right here. Oh! Yeah, so if you do watch my channel a lot, you know that I'm not about that at all. And that's for a number of reasons. Uh, one is it's not uh, a core interest or expertise that I have. So I, mean, I don't really have that much to share about it. Um, the other is that I just think that going on and on about your security capabilities um, is uh, maybe a little short-sighted. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's the kind of stuff you kind of keep close to the chest a little bit more. Uh, well, for the same reason that this clip right here is a little bit idiotic. I talked with ambassador, former Russian ambassador, Mike McFall. Yeah. And I, we talked about the idea that every once you, 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 you got to respond when you, when they're hacking, you got to do something. Uh, he described it as a high, hard one. Maybe just, you know, sort of like in baseball, you throw a high, hard one to send a message. Why haven't we sent a message yet to Putin? We're sending a message. Thank so a message is going to be sent. Will the public know it? I hope not. Yeah, so again, I don't think you should go on and on about it, but every once in a while I come across something really cool, and this V-Line Deskmate safe is one of those really cool things. Uh, it's a quick access safe. This is the factory preset code. It just came in the mail. This is the second one that I have, but you can see how quickly it opens up. All right, a little awkward angle for me to grab it from here, but you can see it can hold handguns. They also make ones for assault rifles and things like that. You can fit... Uh, a couple um, uh, pistols in here, uh, you know, and some magazines. This is the small Glock. I forget what the numbers are on these, but I know th these can also fit the regular size Glock. Um, and what I like about them is because, I mean, there's plenty of push button safes out there. Uh, what I like about these, though, it's, a, it's all mechanical um, because that makes it EMP proof and it also makes it just batteries running out of juice proof. Um, I'm not a big fan of batteries. I, you know, don't don't run my whole life around the idea that there's going to be an EMP tomorrow, but batteries just generally suck all the time. So whenever you can get away from batteries, I think that's a good thing. And this is just, like I said, completely mechanical, and it will never fail you because it's like, you know, low battery or anything. Um, very pleased with this. Um, very well-made product. Uh, this is the second one that I, I've owned. Uh, like I said, it just came in the mail. My other one, I, you know, I've had it for a couple of years, and, you know, whenever I go by, I'm always popping in the code just to kind of keep the muscle memory in my hand. Uh, and uh, very, very pleased with it. Do you have any experience with these types of safes? Have you ever used the ones that use the battery and you go to get it and, oh my gosh, the battery's low or whatever. Um, I've had at least one experience with this where I was glad that I had the, the quick access and it just made everything go so much less horribly. Um, so uh, I'm a big booster uh, of this particular product and I don't have anything negative at all to say about it. Even the color is just delightful, isn't it? Black. So creative. <laughs> That's it. Great product. Let me know if you think so as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.